Good day, my friends, and welcome to episode two of the Royalty Swamp playthrough. Today we're going to face Vulture first, and then we're going to establish our, our little little home a little bit more. And uh, yeah, let's see where it lead us. I left off with the raid at the last episode because I, I always think it's a nice thing to uh, just wait it out and begin an episode with that. So uh, we're going to bring a sniper close to this guy and see what we can do. Vulture decided to uh, prepare himself, but uh, there's another crisis coming up. A fox is hunting our cat for food, so we're going to take care of that first. So let's bring all the people and defend Gabby. 9% uh, hit chance, it's really not too good, but uh, it's raining and we're in the swamp. There's a lot of trees, and there's fog, and uh, yeah. There's also friendly fire, so I'm really, really concerned here, to be quite honest. I'm going to wait here. Uh, uh, until the fox gets close to the cat, because I don't really need to uh, provoke any wounded uh, colonists here. Let's get Teddy over here and see what will happen. No! Gabby! No, actually, I'm not too uh, sad about the cat dying. Mainly because uh, the cats are one of the worst uh, starting animals you could get. So was that enough to kill him off? Yeah, it's enough. Um, because except for nuzzling, they can't uh, offer you anything. And I don't want to sound overly cruel, but uh, well, we're going to have some Gabby tonight. That's just that. Going to kill the fox later too, but uh, uh, or no, he actually ruled himself out. So there's only Vulture left, but I now decided to let Vulture come. So now he's beginning his assault. Beware! All right, there we go. Going to uh, draft my peeps though, and. Uh, Wow, it's so hard to get up a proper formation here, it's insane. So, can I just stand here? <laughs> okay. We have a lot of work to do to make this place a real uh, lively and uh, easy to manage place. So we got one... Uh, he got a shot into the toe! Take that, Vulture! Flee while you can. Consider that a, a, a nasty warning shot. You villain. So, I'm letting Olive wait here around the corner. And, uh, there's a gunshot into the torso. All the people would flee already. Wow, we're really nailing this guy down here. Awesome. Oh boy. I'm just going to let Olive run here. Vulture is taking the wrong steps, so... Check out the shooting ranges, so everything's super fine. Just need to take care of that Olive is uh, running not into the line of fire of Teddy and Harry. So, this guy will be dead in a few hours, though. No? Nine hours. There's really not much time left for Vulture here. So, between the trees, um, Olive is having a hard time of uh, kiting that into a good position, so there we go. So, uh, we can actually patch him up. So, let's check him out. Vulture is good with animals, good with crafting, good on... Well, ah, he's a tough person, so that's why. Okay. Mm, 
Do I have any options to take him prisoner? Yes, I do. There's a sleeping spot. And uh, who's my best doctor again? Keep forgetting that. That's Teddy, of course. So Teddy be like, if I can't fix up my girls from my last job, I can't fix up Vulture too. All right. No. Yeah. Well, I'm going to take that knife. So that's that. Poor Gabby, but uh, well, could be worse. Alright, so Vulture will die in six hours. How hard will he be to uh, hire? Not really hard. He's a pretty easy guy to convince. That's good. So, uh... Okay. So turns out we already seem to have a fourth member. Or become a get a fourth member, whatever. So, spaceship chunks. That's good. I'm running low on steel already. But spaceship chunks' uh, biggest strength uh, comes in the large amount of components raining down from the sky. Alright, so Harry is playing chess in that little alcove there. Lovely. Okay. So one bajillion wounds uh, tended later. Vulture is uh, patched up. And let's clean up this room. Because, I mean, it's uh, bad enough that Vulture has to live in the butchering room. But, uh, well, we're going to change that in time, okay? Maybe gonna build a little uh, prisoner bed over here in the art room. Mm -hmm. Well, let's get that night over with and uh, consider options later. Cargo pods, what's up in there? Ooh, drugs fell from the sky. Nice. Wow, 59, that's a lot. It's really a lot. So, yeah, I definitely want to keep this guy. He might be uh, a little bit low passion-wise, but uh, melee, crafting, and animals are good uh, skills to uh, keep somebody busy with. And the combination of nimble and tough, let alone nimble, tough, and melee, this is such a dream combo. Higher melee dodge chance, less uh, damage incoming, and a burning passion for melee. Why wouldn't you have, uh, want to have this guy? Why should anybody not want to have this guy? So, uh, there we go. The, uh... Blood loss is kicking in. And there goes our first muffalo. Um, having no automation on the hunt yet. So, well, I'm going to allow that to Harry for, for sure. But, uh... This one will get uh, collected by uh, Teddy. So, we have to take care of the construction of this place, because this, this seems to be the most important things in the time being for now. The packaged survival meals are starting to run lower, but, uh, well, there's Muffalo on the, meat, uh, on the menu now. So, Vulture has gotten himself some infection. Yeah, well, with so many wounds, I'm not too surprised. Well, let's send uh, Teddy to take care of that. Oh, there goes Bluefur. Um, okay, don't want to uh, interrupt Harry while she's... Uh, taking care of herself, but the next things I'm going to do are shoot me another muffalo, I think. So let's check that fox will die uh, soon too. So let's hunt that guy. And the infection got a 93% uh, tentment. Wonderful. 
it's what you get when you hire a professional. Well, the medicine makes the biggest changes here. Also, we're having our first home uh, homemade food in larger amounts. That is. So I don't want to interrupt Harry uh, while she's hauling. And the hauling is really important because we need those chunks. We really need them. Okay, gonna wait until Teddy is uh, finished with this recreation, and then I guess um, going to don't know hunt something. Well, maybe I'm going to hunt with Olive. Yeah, those muffalos I don't want to touch uh, without a rifle, honestly. It's uh, pretty scary to go for uh, muffalos without rifles. Olive. It's uh, hairy. So uh, it'll take some days until we are uh, done with the recruitment of uh, Vulture. So definitely want to get that boom red. Um, on rainy days, it's the easiest way. So uh, you can just uh, drop down a home area on the fire. And, uh, ah, Harry can firefight. So maybe it. Yeah, we can't fight fire directly nowadays. There was once a time where you had to uh, micromanage that. Wow, that's nasty. The rain just stopped the moment I shot that boomerang. Ooh. Okay, there it goes. Just, uh, stop the massive fire from happening. Okay. Um, who, who went crazy on that horse? Oh. I don't know, and I don't care. That's a lot of uh, horse meat for me. Awesome. So we're getting somewhere with that. And also, I'm uh, grabbing up a large stockpile of stones. Great. So let's start uh, building a few things here. Um, we're going to build up a little workshop area over here. And, uh, yeah, let's do it like that. So there's going to be sandstone over here. Well, let's do it for now, something like that. And uh, we can't build proper walls here, so it's that. We're quite limited, you see. Um, can I build bridges still? Yes, I can build bridges. So bridges are at least a way of crossing these uh, paths without having to uh, slow yourself down every time you walk past there. It's a good beginning. So the construction, ah, yeah, I, I remember. Nobody was really good at that. So the infection is so uh, everything's fine with that infection. All right, so I can turn. Hmm, I wonder if I should turn on the uh, construction priority a little bit higher with the other guys. But for now, we're having a really, really uh, nice beginning here. I feel like things are progressing really, really well, but no trees in front of my buildings. Also, it's time to begin with the uh, with the pavement plan, you know. So what I had in mind is, uh, let's see, I, have, I use granite and uh, sandstone and limestone. These are the stones available. All right. So Vulture goes berserk. Okay. Let's see. Maybe there will be no Vulture anymore to take care of. Oh, well, good lucky. How's Harry? Just a bruise of a fist. How's Vulture? Well, awesome. Nothing uh, too terrible happened to him. Going to uh, turn uh, the treatment 
over to uh, Herbal Meds because I feel like it's uh, all it takes. So I think I'm going to micromanage Olive here a little bit once she's done with the cloud watching. Because I think I have enough food to get along. Um, now it's time to uh, get a few things down here in the base. So there goes Teddy again. Um, I don't think that I need to uh, pressure the treatment of Harry in any way because it's just a bruise, you know. Let's get those limestone chunks away as well. There's so much stuff everywhere here. Okay, um, now back to business. I'm using the sandstone for buildings. Let's uh, use the limestone for the floors. What gives? Um, using the flagstone here. Yeah. So, let's uh, make sure that there will be uh, spots of walkable ground everywhere. I know the colonists don't really use that too well, but the long-term project might also be that we're going to put down floors uh, in a lot of places. I consider even trying to build something which uh, will look in the end like a town with uh, paved floorings and a lot of uh, open areas, I don't know. I have a certain picture in mind, but uh, we're going to see if uh, Teddy and his uh, family are able to uh, deliver. So far, they are working quite well as a team, though, I have to say. Alright. So, at least the food part is not really a problem anymore. That's good. And uh, considering the amount of animals uh, strolling around in this biome, I don't know if I really uh, need to do anything ever uh, for for agriculture, if I didn't want to. I mean, in the future, I guess I will go for agriculture, let alone uh, that it uh, will free up the areas. I also um, asked myself, wouldn't this... Uh, solve a lot of my problems if I just would do something like um, where is it oh, can I, can, why can't I hay grass okay well let's go for something like dandelions on this square this will at least remove the uh, trees from there so let's sow down a, a lot of dandelions as a preparation for uh, the agriculture we will do one day here because I will have a few fields I can't really uh, I don't want to think about a a way of playing where I don't have any fields at all so here goes I'm going to chop down a lot of trees again due to that but it's okay I think it's going to be quite nice to have a few flowers now or ah, why go for flowers if I can't go for real things right away so we're going to grow us some corn. Yeah, let's go for corn. Corn is a long-term grower, and uh, the good thing about that will be I'm going to have large amounts once that's done. And right now, with the amount of animals around me, I won't be missing uh, the income of food anytime too soon. Basic ideas. All right, let's mine out the... Uh, Freezer here a little bit deeper. Whoops, that was a little bit too deep. There it goes. And I'm going to mine out uh, this room a little bit more as well. But apart from that, I'm um, considering some more living quarters. So let's uh, think about this place again in terms of uh, floor stability. One day I should be able to... Uh, Get this marshy soil into uh, normal soil with the uh, with the moisture pump. Don't do it. wet ground into dry ground. So well, we're going to see. Oh, we're getting the chance to make Teddy Royal. 
Okay. The Imperium of Topa is uh, having a problem because one of their royals is getting hunted by a man-hunting duck. Let's sort out this problem. Diogenes, you are safe with us. I really keep wondering what the, what will happen once we have a fire here and there's no rain. Like, for me it looks like there will be absolute disaster in this uh, scenario. Like, the fires must spread like crazy. That's why I uh, don't feel too well with those steel walls to begin with. So we're going to replace them uh, as the next project as well. Whack, whack. Get over here, you duck. You're going not to. You're not going to hurt anybody here. Oh, it all instantly got a. Uh, um. Got rotting because of the new uh, interactions with those quests. Man hunting animals out of quests have a certain chance of going uh, rotting right away. Nowadays, it's not as easy anymore. I don't mind. So, come on, bring me the shuttle. There we go. Let's turn on the auto load. This will send this guy over there without me having to do anything with that. And then, I'm going to have a look over the map. So, you see, there's another uh, red fox. He died from. Oh, a gunshot? What was the other one? Oh, I got it wrong the whole time. Now I understand what happened back there. So the uh, the fox I looted back there um, was uh, fighting with that horse. That's where he got uh, the wounds. For where, uh, the other fox killed the horse. And this fox was the one I shot. I didn't pay attention there. Well, well. But luckily... I uh, I found this guy before uh, he he went bad. Okay, next step: replace this whole joint with a uh, sense. Whoa, whoa, wait a sec. So this is already stone. Just granite. Um. So, well, why not expand a little bit here? So I'm doing something like that. Well, no, the interior walls are not really uh, important at all. It's just uh, very important that nothing uh, at the outside is uh, provoking any fires. Alright. Okay, I'm going to send Olive to... Uh, Built a little bit today. She's well rested and uh, she can go for a, a few jobs here. Look at that! Our first uh, units of corn are getting down. Um, also, Teddy, you have a neuroformer for you. So, this is the new way of getting royal. So, Teddy has a silent now. And uh, he needs meditation spots, uh, a meditation spot now as well. He learned burden. Awesome. I'm going to turn down the psi focus immediately because I really consider it very, very annoying if uh, they're meditating uh, half the day only to get an insanely high level of psi focus they'll never use. It's just. Uh, Not too comfy at all. Okay. So Olive is working a little bit everywhere, but that's okay. So how is Vulture? Well, his resistance is uh, falling slowly. I think it's time to uh, give Olive a break. She prepared the uh, field there, but uh, wasn't able to work too much today. 
That's okay though. So once these um, walls are all up, I'm going to dislodge a few of those inside. It's summer! But I also noticed that uh, these walls here uh, can't be steel anymore. I just want to make my colony as fireproof as possible. Because fire looks just so dangerous in this biome. I have no experience with the swamp biome myself, so... Let's uh, drop down the limestone tiles all around the, the building. This just gives me uh, the feeling that uh, the, the fire has no chance of getting close to the doors on its own. I'm going to see how right I'm about that. So, uh, there's heal root everywhere. Apart from the hardships, this biome is really lovely. I mean, of course, I put I, I picked the uh, temperate swamp because... And what I'm trying to say is the temperate swamp is the easiest of the swamp biomes. The other two should be certainly harder, but I don't want it to... Uh, as a swamp noob, I didn't want to put up the whole swamp uh, experience on me before I know what I'm doing. Alright, so Olive is down for more useless work today, if I let her, so I'm not going to let her. I want those walls and I want the floors. These feel like so important things to begin with, but I noticed that, uh, well... Honestly, Olive is not the right person for that. I should send Teddy, because uh, Teddy can chop down uh, plants and build a lot better than uh, Olive can. Her plants value just stinks. So. But I really want uh, to let Teddy finish the, the corn uh, field here before I force him into some other work. And that heal root. Oh man, this guy has too many talents. It's good that I have uh, the the hiring job on on Vulture because it's getting more and more obvious how uh, much I need another person, uh, which is good with plants. And there it goes. So Teddy has the perfect combination of a decent construction value and a decent plant value, so I'm going to work with him a lot more. I mean, he has no passion for that, but it's good enough. Definitely good enough. So... In a few days, it's uh, time to uh, consider hunting again. Food stocks are running low again. But the amount of wood I have available is insane. Already 1.4k. Just by getting uh, the vicinity of my first building a little bit tree free. <laughs> and, and doing a little acre here. It's awesome. Having so much wood is just awesome. Um, crafting 11. Too bad that there's nothing I can craft out of wood, which is good to sell. Um, art... Really having no artists here. Nobody at all is good with art. So I can only send Teddy making hideous uh, wooden sculptures. Ultimately, I might do that. Um, how about cleaning this room, at least? I mean, we're getting there. Oh, Teddy can't clean, of course. Former pimp can't clean. So I'm going to uh, do something here. So he's an ex-pimp, you know. I I can't uh, really live with that. But this is uh, always in my in my uh, vision here. I mean, I could call all of the X queen, but uh, I think that goes too far. I had, and I won't call. I won't put Harry and sister. Uh, no, I won't. Harry tactician is uh, already bad enough. All right. 
So we're going to get a smuffalo, another one. I hope everything will go fine. I'm a little bit concerned though. Well, is he already bleeding to death? Not yet. Was that enough? Yeah, okay. I keep uh, going for this strategy of uh, taking as few shots as possible to make sure uh, I don't get a hurt revenge on me. Because a hurt revenge would just uh, kill me, like I said several times before. Okay, um, yeah, sure. Cook us some meal. But apart from that, um, I would be really appreciating if we're having more work done here in construction. There we go! Uh, stone flooring! I'm going to do a lot of that. When this is all uh, done and over, I'm going to uh, have a lot of flooring down where my people will live. Because I feel like, personally, this sounds realistic to me as well. In a area where there's a uh, damn swampy, you're going to pave the way a lot more. You're not going to use dirt uh, paths um, as much as you would in a draw uh, in a in an area that's uh, a little bit less wet. It's just uh, pretty realistic, as a matter of fact, and uh, that's cool. So uh, I want a smelter as well. Just. Uh, didn't get to that yet, but uh, it's time. It's about time. Alright. Let's order the cutting of these trees. I mean, basically, I could also just... Uh, no, I, I just realized that I have to uh, put floors below pretty much everything that I want to uh, have a that I want to keep uh, free from plants wherever I don't put floors be uh, below uh, there will be wild growth I mean you basically see that we're already struggling getting into the woodshed here um, yeah so this place will keep its sandstone doors um, even though they are uh, pretty slow and everything, but I don't want to have my wood storage room uh, vulnerable to fire. Because these doors are the weakest spots. So I think the auto door technology will be uh, also more important than I thought. It's about time to, uh, to make sure that we're going to be able to do research soon as well. Because it's about time, time too. Apart from that, let's check out the uh, ground. Um, there's rich soil over here, so why did I grow the crops over there? When I had My attention sometimes. Well, well. I'm going to correct that later. I'm going to forbid the sowing here, and then we're going to just uh, dismantle that field later. No props. No props with the crops. So the next building though I won't be uh, doing before this whole area here is down. Um, base idea, I want to have some living quarters as soon as possible for everybody, but uh, getting this little uh, commute here uh, done first, getting it, getting it done and safe is, uh, well, top priority for me right now. Because I feel like uh, we're we're really in danger here with that uh, with that uh, lifestyle. But uh, with some pavement around this uh, place everywhere, I feel we should be a lot more uh, safe here. The transgressors. So Westman, the courtesan, the courtesan, a beautiful and nimble courtesan, male courtesan, because we're all <laughs> we're all about gender equality here. <laughs> Incapable 
of dump and skilled labor, childhood shelter child, ch child adulthood gigolo. So basically, Bjarki Vestman was dreaming about big life in his shelter, and once he got out of there, he went all gigolo, and now he ended up with the transgressors. How did that happen? Where did your life go wrong, man? Well, I don't know. Just hope we're able to uh, finish him off. Um, with this guy, it's a little bit more difficult because he's uh, running at us with a pistol. So um, I, I think I'm going to fight this in the freezer. <laughs> Super this, this might sound. Um, the base idea is uh, quite simple. This guy's an immediate attacker, isn't he? keep forgetting to look at that. Yeah, attacking immediately. So I'm going to put Harry over here and uh, as soon as this guy is uh, walking into the uh, rifle range she gets, starts pelting him and uh, now I'm going to fall back before I shoot. So my goal here is to lure Vestman uh, closer to us and uh, lure him into his doom basically. Let's hold open that door. Well, the freezer is not the ideal uh, spot to fight it like that, but whatever. So uh, next up, I'm going to send out uh, Teddy. All right, but uh, now everything is uh, where I wanted to have it. So uh, next step is uh, ordering Olive to uh, get into melee with this guy. So there we go. He set fire on the horseshoe pin. Naughty. It's really important that uh, the moment your uh, melee guy is walking towards the other guy, you stop shooting. They have to uh, be like this, and then you can keep shooting. The game uh, disables friendly fire the moment they get uh, interlocked in melee. Uh, but before that, you can shoot down your own people, so stop shooting. While they're engaging in somebody, don't shoot. Okay, okay. So, uh, Vestman the Courtesan. Um, definitely not gonna keep this guy, but uh, we're, we're also not really uh, too inclined uh, to be too friendly to him. So, following things are going to happen. Who's bad at medicine now? Alright. So Harry will be uh, treating this guy. Simple reason, I'm going to use him as a uh, med medical uh, training puppet and going to release him afterwards. There's not really any gain of that. I could uh, do really, really nasty things with him because uh, he's uh, from the from the enemy from the eternal enemy faction. So uh, being horrible to him doesn't really. Uh, hurt any long-term standings or is not important at all, but uh, I'm a decent human being. And apart from that, Harry is gaining some juicy juicy medical XP. So Vulture is uh, on his next Berserk spree. Let's send the girl with a knife again. Smack, smack. Get down, boy. Oh, well, let's uh, send another guy. This guy is tough. Might be that he's downing, able to down Olive. There we go. So, uh... Whoa, we roughed him up here. Good lord. Um, well, that's more than a, uh... Than a, uh, training session here. So, I'm going to uh, tend here on this guy, and uh, I mean, it was a really good uh, training for Olive in the end. Poor Vulture, one Berserk spree after the other. <laughs> Alright, so we're getting some really good medical training here in the early uh, game. Nice, hey? Um, Harry, would you be so kind to tend to Olive? Come on. Well, her doctoring priority is damn low, though. I have to admit. Should be higher priority on Teddy. 
Teddy's damn uh, tired, but uh, we gotta patch up poor Vulture. So, well, looks like we're getting another level of medical on her soon. That's why I like to do these things, you know. Once when it be uh, when it's going to be really important, uh, I'm going to be very very happy about uh, the training I put in here. So let's clean out poor Vulture's room and hope he's not going to uh, go too crazy. And uh, Olive doesn't uh, doesn't agree. She's all like, "Come on, this guy just uh, this guy just was uh, really mean to me, and um, I'm out here. I'm not going to clean his room." Now she's walking in the rain at 4 o'clock, in a really, really terrible mood. Well, most of the guys are really not too happy right now, but, uh, well, that's okay. I can live with that. Ooh, speaking about living with that, um, there's somebody not living with it anymore. So, it's, uh... Also, I really need that food. Paul in the Muffalo. Um, well, so Olive will be out of order for a moment, but it's okay. I mean, uh, so here. It's uh, it's perfectly fine that Olive is uh, out of order because. With a raid, just a moment, most of the time the game doesn't uh, um, torture you that much. Oh, damn. I forgot to close my freezer after the fight. Oh. Oopsie. Well, I guess it wasn't too horrible. So, they have chicken. And apart from that, they're buying wood. So, uh, sorry guys, but uh, if you are really buying wood while you're here, please. <laughs> Go crazy. Well, yours. In the meantime, I'm going to buy from you guys what? Um, food? I don't think so. Cloth? I don't think so. Well, Although, well, let's buy that cloth. There's always some good use for cloth in the end. I'm going to buy... Not, no. Let's not buy that herbal mat. That's stupid. No. Let's do it like that. The cloth is quite useful because I'm pretty far away from uh, being able to uh, get get some uh, done in, in the near time. But uh, I think it's also time to cut this episode at this point because, oh my god, I just looked at the clock and I'm already over 40 minutes. Just uh, time flies. Alright, friends, so drop me a like, a share with your friends, or even a subscription to my channel if you want to keep this project alive. Also, drop me some comments down below what you think. I always love to hear from you guys. Be that as it may, we're going to see each other in the next episode when there's going to be more of the swamp fun. Seriously, we're getting a colony here. Goodbye.